In this video, we will talk about using control points for alignment. We will cover picking points, point weights, alignment, and iterations. The first step is selecting images to select control points from. We're going to go back to the misaligned turret. You can see the top part is floating above the rest of the model. We'll start by using the Find Images tool to see the images affected by this part. To do this, undo the Alignment tab, select the point lasso, select the misaligned points, and click Find Images. Your images will be now highlighted in the 1DS view, as well as highlighted in the 3D view with the orange box around the input. Let's change the layout, and I'm going to start picking images that see the top part of the turret. Because we are working on the same component, I will pick four images. While selecting images, please remember in the 2D view, you can use your left and right keys to scroll through the images to find additional images with overlap. Now let's pick control points. We want to place the control points on places with high contrast in the images, like this dark point here in the brick facade. Let's locate the same spot in all of the images selected and place a point in the middle of the dark spot. You can see in the 2D window that RC created point zero. Here we see other images that have the same points as suggestions. As you add additional points, more suggestions will be found. To clear them, select the point and click clear suggestions. This way you will only see the images we have picked. Now we can adjust the points by selecting and dragging while holding the left mouse click. This increases the accuracy of the points selected. Now let's place the second control point. We will want to create a triangle with the three points. We will place and cover as much as the image area as possible. Let's discuss point weighting. Now we pick our points. Let's select all of them from the 1D view. Point weights can be useful when you do not have full confidence in the point selected. Based on the contrast of the points we selected and our confidence level, we'll go ahead and move along with the default values. We're going to go ahead and set up our view so we can monitor the progress of the alignment. Once we have that set, we'll click Align from the Alignment ribbon. After alignment is complete, we will check the results. Let's check if the control points we placed fix the problem. You can still see that the top part of the turret is misaligned with the rest of the model. Let's find images again, but this time only using the floating portion of the top turret. Once again, we're going to click the point lasso, select that part, and find images, and visualize the highlighted images that we will need to add control points to. With this, you can see there are just two images highlighted. Let's pick them and add control points. Alternatively, if these images are not critical to the model, we can go ahead and disable them from the component as a way to solve our issue. Now let's click on point one, add the same points to the new images. Point one is here. Let's pick point two and place it in the image as well. In the next image, we're gonna place point two. You can see that the image is cut where point one should be. So let's place a new control point that we can place on both images. As mentioned, we're going to need a minimum of three points, so let's add a third one. After the points are placed, we'll go ahead and click Align from the Alignment tab once more. Alignment is now complete again, and we'll check to see our results. You can see the model is now fully together, and we see no misalignment on the turret with the tie points. This is great. We can also verify this mathematically by checking the error in pixels of our control points. In this instance, between point 0.1 and point 0.3 pixels. With this, we are ready to commence reconstruction of the model, or meshing the model, and creating a solid surface. In the next tutorial, we'll go over these settings on how to reconstruct the model.